Hello, today let's begin thinking about how to manifest what you want in life. I mean, how to make things happen when you're struggling to, say, turn your life around. Let's talk, talk a little bit today about thought manifestation and what that really is. You know, where personal initiative comes in, where you, you know you got to take action on things, but you have the initiative behind you to get going. I'm going to share a principle from A Course in Miracles that kind of helps us see what often holds us back in life. Hey everyone, James Nuspalmer, and thanks for joining me at another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. By the way, before we get going, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit the alert button. That way YouTube will notify you when I have a new video that comes out. So do that right now as you're listening to me. Let's go on and talk about turn your life around when maybe the chips are against you and to make things happen and to really get what you want in life. And so today, let's what I have to say, I'm asking you to listen deeply. Listen deeply as you watch this video, if you're asking yourself things like, you know, how can I make things happen? You know, how can I just create whatever I want? You know, these are the kind of things that really get us down a lot of times because we see maybe see the world moving at fast, fast speeds ahead of us and we're wondering how these other people, successful others are getting there and we're still stuck behind. Learning how to make things happen is similar to learning to swim. How is swimming similar to manifesting your desires? You may ask, well, both manifesting and swimming needs total trust. In example, I mean just letting go. When it comes to manifesting anything that you want, you have to let go of your need to manage the end result and to trust that you're in the process and you're trusting that it will show up in your life and that you will reach what you are seeking. Now, The Course in Miracles gives us this wonderful, simple, profound lesson. The Course in Miracles states, the ego in us all tells us, seek, but do not find. Boy, that's pretty profound if you just simply listen to that again. And I'm going to repeat that in case uh, any of you are grabbing a pencil and wanting to jot this down. I know some people like to do that, and I think that's great. But A Course in Miracles teaches us the ego in us all tries to tell us, seek, but do not find. Well, back to the case of swimming. You have a trust that you will float and not drown. Everyone who has actually learned how to swim will agree that worry causes us to sink. You know, an absence of fear, let's talk about absence of fear. When we don't have that fear, it enables you to flow brilliantly through the water when you're swimming. If you go down, you know it's going to be short term and you will naturally rise to the surface again. You have that confidence and trust that that will happen. So it's no different than how to make things happen, excuse me, in your life with attempting to manifest your desires. So accept your desires as already having actually be being fulfilled. It's just that now you need to bring them forth into your material world. By the way, here's a related article I want to refer you to at my safe and secure blog. It's about in this, it's about create the life you want article. It's a pretty in-depth article that we look deeply at the power of manifestation beginning by learning to visualize your goals. And the link to that is down below in the description area here at YouTube, along with some other links that may help you out to start manifesting your desires. So I hope that you'll check that out at my safe blog. But remember, you can fool people, but you cannot deceive. You cannot deceive the inner depths of thought manifestation. So every thought, sensation, or fear and doubt that you have, no matter how minor it is, no matter, it's vibrating through the interlocking chain of minds, we could say, which is the real universe. That's a part of thought manifestation. Thought manifestation and its power. Let me explain. Recently, as I was swimming at my local health club, which I do, uh, on a, you know, quite often as as my workout, one of my workouts, as I was swimming, it dawned on me that how swimming was was uh, a keen parallel, we could say, with the personal initiative of how to make things happen in one's life. I was baffled by the reality how beginners have trouble keeping their head above water while experienced swimmers don't have an issue at all with, with even worrying about that. They swim easily while, beginning, while the beginner seems to want to force the issue of swimming, of the swimming stroke, we can say. 
that's because the reason they sink is because they don't rely on the water to keep them flowing. The beginner seems to fear releasing, and so flowing can never happen. You've got to release that fear. And then it struck me all of a sudden, as I was swimming, yes, that it's the very same with manifesting my own desires in life. The books that I'm now an author of. I mean, it's just incredible and in how simple it really is when you, when you practice thought manifestation. It's just when you totally and unquestionably trust that your desires are as great as having already been provided and that your personal initiative with the power of attraction, which is a term we're using for attracting what you desire to you, it's an attraction principle. It will just simply flow through you and be a part of your everyday life. So follow this strategy and you'll find that the proof of your total trust is when you reveal your thankfulness, your gratitude, and currently begin celebrating, we can say, in spite of your present truth, which may be specific opposite based on fear and doubts. Those are what we need to let go of. I hope this made sense to you. I hope it hit home. And I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life and all the natural beauty that's within you that sits there just waiting to be extended to the material world. Do so. Be happy to extend yourself and you will see wonderful results in your life. Until next time, God bless. And I wish the very best for you in love and success and all the happiness the world has to offer you. See you next time.